I'm Jason Abraham and welcome to the Mendota Ranch. Well, all right, welcome to the ranch today. Um, so we got a mystery today. I need, I need y'all's help solving this mystery. So here's the mystery. We're kind of in an Indian camp or what used to be an Indian camp. I don't know really. But let me show you what I've been finding first, and then I'm gonna kind of show you what's going on here. So, uh, the couple days ago, I found this point, or part is broke. See, it's broke there, but it's, it's super, super thin, super thin point, big point, big point, ancient. So this is thousands of years old. And then we found found this one, broke too. This one almost looks like a hair hay. So you see how you see how this goes. Let's see, this edge goes this way, and then this edge goes that way. It's kind of like a hair hay. So if I can find the other side of it, maybe it is a hair hay. I don't know. Okay. And then look at this. This is a big old. Looks like a preform. See it? Big point. Big point. Um. Yeah, big points here. And then, here's the weird dude. This is what's kind of throwing me off. Then I find, I'm not finding like any shards. I'm not finding any flint, any shards. And then I'm finding stuff like this and like this. So it's been worked over on one side, but not worked on the other side. And here's another little broken piece. So I'm finding stuff like that. And so what's weird about this is it doesn't match. None of it matches. It doesn't make sense where it's at. And why, I mean, the flint, like this flint, that flint, I mean, I know it's all alabates, but it's different. And then like that, I don't know. And, and, and the way it's flaked and the way it's formed, it doesn't match. So, all right, so here's the deal. So let me kind of give you the little, let me give you the rundown of where we're at. Okay, so let's walk over here. So follow me over here. Okay, now look. Over here, this is, this is, behind me over here is Red Deer Creek. That's Red Deer Creek. And then you've got another creek coming in right here. So normally when you got like a dry creek coming into like a, a wet creek, this is kind of where you find the camps. So this would be, this would be considered a camp, but, but a long time ago, there was, I don't know if you can see that right here over my, over right there. Let me see if I can point my finger at it. About right there was a house. All that was farmland. Okay. Well, then in the 70s, you see this long stretch right here, and it goes way over there. So the previous owner built a runway. It's about a half mile long in the 70s. I heard he landed on it one time, scared the hell out of himself, and so he quit flying, and so that was the end of it. So, if there was a camp here, the farmer got it, or the runway dang sure screwed it up, then about, I don't know, about five, six years ago, maybe it's 10 years ago now, here, this is an oil field location, okay? So you see the gas well here? Well, what I do, Number one, I don't let them stack tanks all over the ranch. I make them stack them in one spot because I don't want to look at their crap. And so I kind of clean this stuff up. But what I make them do is I make them push the topsoil back up the hill. So this is, see all this here? This is all, this is all topsoil. Okay. So this is topsoil. I make them push it, push it back up the hill, right? And then we store it up here. And the reason we do that is whenever they plug this well, then we got this topsoil, we push it back down and we reclaim the property like it was. So if this was an Indian camp, it's been contaminated one, two, three times. So it's totally been screwed up. So there's no salvaging whatever camp there was. So here's the weird deal. On top of this topsoil, we start finding those points. So... I don't know. It's, it doesn't match. So are we, uh, well, uh, did we just hit a stash? So I've been just, I've just barely dug this thing out. Um, I'll show you what I got. So 
it's really weird so did an indian have a stash here and we just hit his stash and or was it a camp even if it's a camp i'm not finding fire rocks i'm not finding uh, any pottery i'm not finding anything but just these big points i'm not even finding like what i'd call a shard you know a shard of the flakes no so this is where we found the first points on top of the ground is right here and so i'm gonna i'm gonna start digging here in a little bit and i've dug for maybe i don't know the other day i dug for a couple hours and then i dug maybe two days maybe i got two hours of digging and i'll just sift through it and go and go through it and i guarantee you i'll find something here in a minute but just strange so why would i be finding even if it was even if it wasn't in indian camp why am, I, why am i not finding anything else and i'm finding a bunch of stuff just right here where where the dozer pushed all this topsoil up now see that would be like up to see this top of the hill behind me that would be a camp right there because they like to be on high spots but they would have farmed the indians would have farmed this bottom I don't know so anyways all right so oh let me show you what i did so uh, here's here's my contraption i've rigged up so i've got this vibrating bucket that i'm tearing up it's not it's not very good i mean it's all it's already breaking but what i did is i put this little bitty wire on there and i fill it full of dirt and then it vibrates and then i come over here and i sift through it all and uh and look for points and stuff so, so that's what i'm doing and yeah it's it's working it's working i don't know so i'm gonna keep going here i'll, I'll set a couple gopros up and i'm gonna keep going and we'll see see how we get along but that's how much dirt i've sifted and i'll see if i find another point so y'all stand by Okay, so 
I didn't find anything big today. I did. So here are screws that I, you know, I was telling you about all these big points I've been finding. You know, all these really, really, really big points. Let me get over here where y'all can see them a little better. Like these big points like that. That. That big old point there. So I did, I hadn't been finding any shards or flakes. I did find some flat flakes today. Now this piece here, it's kind of been worked around that. That's been worked right there. So, like, in the big plate. Oh, and I did find one up. Wait, let me dig my pocket again. Here's one weird deal. Look at this. So that's been worked. See how, see how that's been worked? Both edges. And that's like quartz. That didn't flint. That's quartz. It's kind of weird how... So, okay, so hopefully y'all put down all your comments thinking what the, what the mystery is. I don't know. Here's my thinking. This is my thought until I dug up all those um, flakes. So, see this stuff here? Old horse-drawn farm equipment. So... Until today, I was thinking maybe the old sod buster that lived down there, well, you can see that tank, but you see the cottonwood tree down there? That's where he lived and he farmed, he had some farmland, all that was farmland over there, and then he farmed this down here. So you can imagine all this dirt would have been back up here. And some of that old farm machinery was sitting in the way and I had him, I said, y'all just drag it out of the way. And then before you built this location, and I was thinking, well, maybe that farmer was you know, plowing. You figure with a team, he's walking along behind the team, plowing, and he picks up, he sees a big old airhead or a big old spear point, he just picks it up and he stacked them up over here. But now, I don't know, I'm seeing those sh the shards, I don't know now. But I'm not seeing anything else. I'm not seeing, so, I mean, of course, the dozers have screwed this up. Normally, you would never go into a camp and just, you know, if it was a camp, of course, this is just topsoil that the do dozers move. So the ground's, you know, already been really disturbed. Um, and I haven't, I don't know, I just right over there. I mean, I've dug a couple hours a day and I dug all them points up and I dug about an hour today until the GoPro went dead. I don't know. I didn't find anything but those shards. So I don't know. I think it's still a mystery. So, if you can, like I said, this is Red Deer Creek right here. So this is Red Deer. The old farmer sod buster lived right there. That was farmed. The other side of the creek, there's a dry creek right here. That was all, uh, you know, the, that's the reason the Indians would park right here. And then of course there's a big hill here. So I know, I know this would have been an Indian camp and I find Flint all around in here. Not much. Over there I find a lot. But it's all old, real old. I found metal airheads over there. I don't know, it's just weird that all those big points, because those, those big points are, are really, 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 really old. So I'm talking thousands of years old. And it's just strange they're all in one little wad and nothing else there, so. And a dozer had already moved them. So it's amazing they were in one wad after a dozer had moved them. So, I don't know. If I'll keep digging, I'll keep letting y'all know what points I find. And at some point we will do a dig on uh, on the other side in another pasture. We're gonna do, sure enough, a professional dig. Um, but this deal here, I just kinda, I was just coming by and I had time to kill. I wanted to show y'all those big old spear points. Well, I don't know if the spear points are what they are. So I need to find like the back of them to see if it's a Folsom point or a, or a Clovis point, or maybe it's not that old, I don't know, but um, I think it's kind of cool. Um, I want to save it. You know, it's not. You know, it's it's not worth anything. I don't think, but it's kind of cool to find on the ranch. So, yep. So anyway, anybody got any idea what what, what you, I think I've got going on here with the uh, with those big old points? And if you know what those points are, let me know. And if you think it was a stash, maybe by an Indian, he just one Indian just had a little cache over here. 
or do you think maybe that farmer stacked them up somewhere but i don't know kind of cool all right if you like it give it a thumbs up and we will see y'all next week